you need to be a little kind of crazy to be part of a water polo team. This sport just like pushes you to so many different limits that you really can't reach at other sports. And it's a combination of like wrestling and fighting, trying to keep your mental state like awake and alert. We practice drowning each other and pushing each other under as hard as we can just to get back up and see if we can make a shot. Who would ever think of doing something like that? It just seems like torture. But I think that's what makes it fun. I love hitting people. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I love getting hit. It's part of it. I was super excited for this season to start. I think there was a lot of uncertainty. We had a couple guys on our team who would lose their heads and start talking back to the referees, but it also makes it harder for us to play because the referees don't like us as much. So it was a mix of like nervousness and excitement and hoping to get far in the season. We entered our first tournament with the mindset that if you talk back to a referee, regardless of how egregious the call is, um, you don't play that tournament, that game. We played well, I mean, we beat everybody pretty badly. I think playing in those games really it's hard to maintain your level of performance. But I think when we are faced with more challenging teams, it's hard to like flip that switch immediately. Let's get back to work next week. Enjoy your weekend. Coaches, you guys got anything? I wasn't calling anything that you guys didn't earn. Like every single pass, pass that went to Zach, there was, was not there. Zach was getting hammered in there because passes were going in when there were four guys ready to drop on him, you know? Like you got to move before we pass it in. That's, that's all I saw. Just focus on it, play through it, learn it. You guys got it. This guy, Texas on three, guys. Texas on three, one, two, three. Texas! Texas! First game was a breeze. The LSU game was, I think, a wake up call, and I'm glad we had it because it was way closer than it needed to be. Um, we should have put that team away in the second quarter. And we were uh, getting to our peak performance. This was on Sunday uh, of Halloween weekend. We had a number of our athletes that were driving into Houston. Not even our full starting lineup was there. It was very passive. We were just kind of waiting for the game to start so we could get it over with. <laughs> Baylor came out strong. We thought that they were a team led by one or two strong players and a bunch of filler. It turned out that everyone in the pool knew what they were doing. That game got my blood pumping. I felt really good about it. I felt like we were actually competing for something. We were still confident that we were going to win the game, but we're getting into a good game against good opponents. That's what I play for. Let's bring it on. As the game progressed uh, through halftime, when we expected to eventually hit our stride and pull away, uh, the more time that went on, we realized that we were really just going tit for tat, trailing. Inset! Inset! Hey guys, we're still doing a good job on defense, all right? Three goals to a good team is perfectly all right on defense. Number 10 is a miss. They facilitate right now. They're making slow, predictable reads. Keep it up on D, the effort. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. possession for longer, we had more shots on cage, we had more saves. It was really just the fact that we just couldn't do the last step of finishing it. We missed a lot of shots we should have made. On offense, he's looking for set, we're getting rewarded and we're getting opportunities. Wait for the offense to develop. Hey, for the best who wants the ball. Go out and show who wanted one. Let's go boys, let's go! Texas on three! One, two, three! Texas!
I think you could sense a sort of like deflation in team morale. We knew that we were in for a battle and we had realized it was a battle we might not necessarily win. Many members of our team did not realize that losing regionals meant that we didn't get to go to nationals. And I can't help but wonder if they might have played differently or harder if they had known going into the game that this was everything. We, were, we had a really solid team that could have made a good run at nationals um, if we played up to our potential. I hate to lose, but as much as like it hurts, those games are what we like to play for. I don't like playing the games where you win by 30. It's no fun for anybody. I'm proud of the team overall. I think we did a great job, and you just got to take the losses as it goes and play again next year. Hey, let's get a team on three. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Hey, drive home safe, guys. <laughs>